الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله إمام جبرين حفظ الله رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة. He mentioned three types of sabr or patience in his Kitab al-Tawheed, and I thought it would be very appropriate for us during this this month of Ramadan to uh, gain the blessings and remember and recall the ni'ma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ni'am from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, and the importance of patience. He says, Sabr ala ta'atillah wa sabr ala ma'asiyallah wa sabr ala aqdarillah fa'amal kullaha dakhila fi sabri bihada Taqseem. He says, patience in obedience to Allah and patience by refraining from disobedience to Allah and patience with the divine decree of Allah. All deeds enter into one of those three categories. And he begins by talking about Sabr ala ta'atillah. He says, Wa huwa sabr nafs ala umur al ma'mur biha. Fa inna Allah ta'ala amrana bi umur. Fala bud an nasbir nafusina alayha. Fa nasbir mithilin ala al wudu'i wa al taharati. Walau kana fihi mushakka li anna hu mimma amr Allahu bi. وَقَدْ يَكُونْ فِيهِ سَعُوبَةً وَمُخَالَفَةً وَمُخَالَفَةَ النَّفْسِ أَلَتِي تَمِيلْ إِلَى الْكَسَلِ وَإِلَى الْحُبِّ الْرَاحَةِ وَلَكِنْ مَتَّ صَبْرَ الْإِنْسَانِ مَتَّ صَبْرَ الْإِنْسَانِ نَفْسُهُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ فَإِنَّهُ يَكُونُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ So he mentions the first category of patience. He said patience. Uh, in relation to obedience to Allah, meaning it takes patience to do the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says that it is patience, uh, patience of one's uh, desires and patience regarding their selves, regarding all the commands they have been commanded with. And that verily Allah the Almighty commanded us with many things. So it is absolutely necessary that we make ourselves patient with regards to them. So, for example, we are patient with wudu. And we are patient with tahara. You know, performing those acts of worship and in preparation for worship. He said, even if there is some difficulty... Regarding the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me break away from that so we, we have an understanding of that. So he's talking about mashakka. He's talking about if there's difficulty. For example, you get up early in the morning to do obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You make wudu and the water is very cold. Or for example, in places that is very hot climate, when you turn on the water during the day, it's it's blazing hot. Some places you burn yourself. Where I'm at currently, you burn yourself. If it's around 10, 11, 12, dhuhr, blazing hot. Even asr up until uh, maghrib. The pipes are hot. The water is hot. And in fact, for most people, too hot to even take a shower. Or And some people complain of wudu. That means mushakka. That means there's some difficulty regarding that. But however, being patient upon that difficulty and Doing the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the sabr the Shaykh is talking about. And he said, and even though that it is difficult for ourselves, difficult for our nafs, it goes against what our nafs want, uh, that the person still adheres to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though there's their their own soul or their own desires encourage them or entice them with laziness and the love for comfort. 
However, patience, a person's patience with his own desires upon this makes them from the sovereign, makes them from those who are patient. Then he mentions Kadalika Sabr ala ida asalawat. Fakad yakuna dhahab ila masajid faqilin ala nafs. Wakad tamila nafs lin noom o raha fil bait wa nahwi. Walakin metta sabr al insan udda min as So he mentions uh, another uh, example. He says, likewise, patience. In performing the five daily prayers. This requires patience. All of this is patience in ta'atillah. And patience and obedience to Allah. So he says, uh, it could be that there's some difficulty for a person to go to the to the, the masajid. You know, go to the places of prayer. Uh, it could be faqil. It could be heavy upon them. Heavy upon the nafs. You know, you're busy. You're doing your work. You're doing your schoolwork. You're doing your... You're at work, or you're doing your job, whatever the case may be. You're with family, you're watching a documentary, whatever the case may be. It could be thaqil. It could be difficulty. There could be some, some mashakka, some, some, some difficulty. And the, your desires could make it so that you crave to sleep. Or that you just wish and desire for comfort in your home. He says, however, when a person is patient with this, then they are accounted from amongst those who are patient. And then he says, من صب من صبر من صبر من صبري على طاعة الله وقد ورد في بعض الأحاديث تسمية شهر رمضان بشهر صبر لأنه صبر عن بعض الشهوات المباحة والمحبوبة لنفس فمن أجل ذلك يكون الصوم then a sabr. طيب. Then he mentions that likewise patience in having in, in doing performing qiyam uh, al you know, the of of standing for prayer, you know, during the night for for a, a, an appointed time or for a long period of time, and patience with regards to the long rukur. And sujood, you know, in prostration, and other acts of prayer. He says all of this is patience in obedience to Allah. Then he says, and it is mentioned in many ahadith, the that Ramadan, the Prophet ﷺ called Ramadan Shahar, Ram, uh, um, called it Shah Ramadan. Bishahar as sabr He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, named the month of Ramadan the month of sabr. This is mentioned in Ahadith. And he says because it requires that a person is patient with some of their desires uh, that are normal, that are mubah, that are uh, permissible. Of course, it's permissible to eat. It's permissible to drink. In fact, you need to. You must. And those things which are beloved to yourselves, those things that are beloved to you. You enjoy many activities that you give up when you're fasting. And he said, and just for this reason, patience is from, uh, or uh, fasting is from patience. And the last example, then he mentions about Hajj. And Hajj is also from patience. Because there is, uh, you know, difficulty and striving in order to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala re with regards to that. And he says, likewise, giving the zakat and spending 
uh, on the wajibat, on those things that you have to. When you have a family and if you have a big family, you have to spend on them. And that's, you know, that can be mushaka. It can be difficult. You Maybe you want to incline towards a vacation. You want to incline to do this, but you've got children to take care of. You've got wives to feed. You've got things to do. You've got parents, elderly parents you need to take care of or whatever the case may be. You have the wajibat. And from what we have provided, they they give. This is Ahli Iman. And so with that being the case, Ahabatifillah, it requires patience. That's a type of patience. May Allah bless us to be of the Sabarin. I mean. And he says, and also in 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 getting giving the zakat, which is a duty upon those who have the the means, and then the the time. Uh, you know, hawlu alayhi al hawl that they there's a that it they've had that possessed that wealth for for one year. If you're from ahl zakat, and he said all of it is from sabr, patience, in obedience to Allah, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless that imam with mercy and all the imams of the sunnah throughout time may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon them and until our next sitting we will talk about the second category of patience wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam